Hey folks, this is Andy Shiles with Simply Trade Podcast, and we are here at the AIAG. We're taking a little break in between breaks, if you will, <laughs> talking to some of the vendors and all. Why don't you tell folks uh, your name and who you're with? Yeah, my name is Claire O'Donnell McCarthy, and I'm a technical account manager with Altana. Fantastic. If you remember, folks, we had Evan and uh, Alan on from uh, uh, on our, our podcast a couple times, or well, Alan's been on what, two or three times anyway, and then Evan uh, the one time. Uh, anyway, so with Altana and all, how things going in the AI business nowadays? It's going really well. I'm relatively new to Altana. I started about eight months ago, and I dove right in with some OEM clients, some other automotive suppliers, and it's been, you know, grew up in a car family, so it's been really exciting to get to do that and get plant tours and all of that and help people solve their forced labor concerns with AI. Well, and the forced labor has been interesting on that one is that true, I know Altana has some phenomenal uh, system capabilities, is being able to take so much information from so many different sources and helping companies track down a potential, like here's a red flag you need to look at over in this area, that area, because of the forced labor that's now being if you will, deported from China into other locations, Vietnam, mm -hmm. Asia, or even Mexico for that matter. Yeah. And uh, your your systems, from what I understand, it does a good job of filtering that out, right? Yeah, avoiding transshipment. You know, it's not just able to come from Xinjiang through Vietnam and then to your tier one supplier will be able to spot that. Um, so being able to go out to tier three, four, five even for critical materials is really important because they'll try to hide it. All right. So if somebody were interested in saying, okay, I've heard about AI and we know we need to do something, what would you recommend? What do they need? What information should they gather before even picking up the phone and saying, somebody from Altala, come talk to me? I mean, we, I wouldn't say they would necessarily need to gather anything. Um, we love talking to anybody about what their, you know, value chain shaped issues look like. But, you know, having an understanding of the number of suppliers you have, the number of products that they're providing you, mm -hmm. potentially all of the facilities that you're procuring information from, that's what we need to get started in a relationship once um, we're, we're signed a contract. But, you know, if you have that before we start the conversations, that's helpful, but definitely not a requirement. Mm -hmm. So getting back to, you know, rubber, coffee, chocolate, wood, leather mm -hmm. are all areas that the EU is going to need to know where those goods came from. Mm -hmm. Is it from a region that has faced deforestation? If it is, show me the actual plot of land where your, you know, so the actual source commodity of, came from. Yeah. Man, that's, a, that's, that's, that's getting, that's reaching way beyond uh, yeah. what uh, people normally do. Now. Exactly. Right. So we partner with a company called Epoch. They start at the ground level. They make all the maps. They tell us where the impacted regions are. And then we're able to build the AI value chains and then meet kind of halfway and be able to show that to people, which is really exciting. With the conference here, has this been something where you're getting good leads and uh, people networking, stopping and talking? I mean, I'm not in sales, so I just love talking to everybody, and we've had a lot of great conversations today. I think hopefully some of them will turn into leads, but I think one of my automotive clients loves to say compliance isn't a competitive advantage. We're all just trying to do the right thing, so that's mm -hmm. kind of the spirit I'm trying to bring to today. Excellent. Excellent. Excellent.